everybody, it's Crafting Journey. Welcome back to part two of my Treasure Studios art unboxing. Look, I have another beautiful Treasure Studios art box with the pink and black logo. Don't you just love it? Um, someone mentioned that, hey, where's the tubes? Not everything comes in tubes. If it's a larger painting, this is a 50 by 65. It did not come in a tube because it's not that large. So love these boxes because... First of all, look, no damage to the box. It did come in some outer wrapping, but you just open it from the side and there is your inventory. Look how beautiful, guys, look. You've got your painting, you've got your drills, your inventory sheet, your tool kit. This tool kit, guys, it is branded. It comes in this beautiful pink, pink, Organza bag it says Treasure Studios Art. You can see it has the the pin, the wax, the pink tweezers, the squishy, and now uh, Rachel from Treasure Studios Art is including thin four placer, seven placer, and a straightener. Which oh, oh, she used to have the fat placers uh, in here, and um, I did let her know that nobody uses those, so. We switched to the thin four placers. So what do we got here? We've got the inventory sheet. We'll put that off to the side. If you like to work out of baggies, you are ready to go. If you are new to diamond painting, you are ready to go. Everything you need to diamond paint is in this toolkit. Um, you can work right out of the baggies. You don't need to run out and buy a storage container. Um, Everything you need is right here. So that makes it super, super satisfying um, for beginners. And this is a, a good beginner size. It's a little large. I might, if I were an absolute beginner, I might start with something a little smaller. But like I said, it's 50 by 65. So let's take a look. It comes in this cellophane wrapper. We'll put the rest of the box down here. Hello. Out, 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 out. Now, you know I got an Alice, right? Was there any question that this is an Alice painting? This is by Anthony Christo. It is called... Now, at this point, when you get your um, diamond painting from Treasure Studios, you're going to want to roll backwards. Do not do that. That would be your instinct. Don't do it. You can do it with Diamond Art Club. You can do it with other poured glue but this is melted film adhesive with a very heavy plastic over it so please do not roll it backwards at any time after you have diamonds on it before you have diamonds on it it will lay flat after you leave it um flat for a few, you know after you roll it out it'll leave it'll lay flat after a few minutes and there's the march hair look at him look at his teeth oh my word look at those teeth I love it. The yellow hair, the cupcakes. Now he's sitting at a picnic table. They're having a tea party. I am working on this one here, which is called the Dormouse. Um, this is the companion piece. So this is kind of what this is stuff is going to look like. Now this one is in rounds. I'm going to do this one in squares, but see how brilliant that cupcake turns out and the teapot. And behind this is the mouse. So, and look how shiny. So this is the same size. It is the companion piece to the March Hare. See, now we've got, he's got a couple of cupcakes going on here. Um, I think this is probably a teacup or, I can't see it that close. Yeah. So, and look at the beautiful chair behind him. Oh my word. And there's like this sparkliness going upwards here, which you could bling. Oh my word. This is square, but um, squares, as you know, are 2.5 millimeters. So if you go to um, dpsparklers.com, you can get sparklers for squares, um, which are round 2.5 millimeters, and you can... Uh, put them into a square painting and it's not noticeable at all. I've done it in several paintings, but this is gorgeous. Let's look at the inventory sheet. 
this is how it's going to look as a finished product look at those crazy eyes and those teeth oh my god i love this painting it's going to be beautiful um this is the you can cut this up this inventory sheet put it through your xyron sticker maker and put it on your storage containers so you can keep track of your drills if you don't if you're not using the baggies i don't use the baggies no. mm -mm. i'd spill them so here is the inventory sheet now on a treasure studios art canvas you'll notice the symbols are all very clear the background of each of those symbols is the color of the drill so as you're diamond painting if you get a bag of drills out um, i have one bag out already this is 37.50 i would look at 37.50 on here which is right there that's you know round squiggly thing and it matches the color of the drill you just want to make sure i have had it happen one time where i looked and i had the totally wrong color um so and if that happens you just notify treasure studios if you look uh, they will send you the correct drills if you look at the bottom of the canvas all the social media to contact treasure studios art is right here also on the bottom of the sheet is the uh, guarantee there's a hundred percent money back guarantee also in a very teeny tiny corner you're going to find a little number there let me see if i can show you that up close there is a little number there two six six three if you ever get separated from your drills if the canvas gets separated from the drills if you look at the bag the top of the bag it has that number i don't know if i can get that close it's really tiny guys You'll see that 3750 is the DMC number, but you see that 2663? That is the canvas number. Now, the bottom number, 39.7, is the volume, the weight and volume of each bag of drills. So, the March hair, guys. I'm so excited. So, I'm going to uh, show you up close this camera so you can see how clear the drill field is. I wanted to show you this canvas up close. Look, look at the drill field, guys. Nice and clear symbols. Look at the cupcake. Let's find his teeth. Where are his teeth? Oh, those are his teeth right there. And those creepy eyes. Look at the eyes. We could add some sparklers there. Yeah. Look at the blonde hair. Oh, the golden locks of hair on this guy. So there is the canvas. Really, really nice. Oh, he's wearing this beautiful tie here. And again, on the sides, you have these beautiful schematics. Again, the same thing. The background is the color of the drill. Every symbol is so, so clear. the drills. Now let's look at the stickiness of it. This is, like I said, it is mounted film adhesive, which is going to last longer than poured glue. It's not going to yellow over time. 
Um, I will say, though, this is not glue that when you put a diamond down, you can push it somewhere else if you push it, put it in the wrong place. You would need to pick up that diamond and put it where you really want it because this glue is like, let me just show you. I'm going to put my fingerprints on the glue. Ready? I'm barely touching this, barely touching this. Yeah, barely touching it. Look. That's some nice glue. And this nice plastic, it's a very heavy plastic. Now, as you can see on the other one, I did take that plastic off and I'm using release papers more for the purpose of sectioning my painting because I like to work in sections. As you can see, I kind of move around, move around the canvas because it's fun to do it that way. Um, so this one will be in the near future. Um, now, like I said before, I don't work out of these baggies, but one thing I want to do um, show you is that there is a schematic on the upper right-hand corner and the lower left-hand corner. So no, no matter where you're working on the painting, you have some more, somewhere visually for your eye to go to see the schematic. Um, there are 39 colors, so I just want to take the drills out, count them, make sure I have 39 colors. Okay, we have all of the colors, yay. All right. Um, I'm just going to show a few on camera. You know, I like to show off the pinks. Look, look at the pinks. That's a beautiful color. I love pink. Here's another pink. You're like, come on, Rebecca, what's with all the pink? So pretty. Then we got these beautiful blue and purple there. I noticed a really pretty color, and there's a lot of it. This is in the background, this 3847. Look how pretty. I like that there is absolutely no 310 in this painting. Zero 310. I want to confirm that. Yep, no 310. OMG. What? Okay, here is the color I was looking for. This is probably one of my favorite colors. This is 518. Look at that. Look at the sparkle. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I'm loving. Oh, look, these these always, I love these colors. 796 and 97. They're in a lot of paintings, but ah, oh, those are such pretty colors. Those blues, so pretty. What else do we have here? Uh, mostly just kind of neutrals, you know, the darker, darkest we really have is this 839, which is a very dark brown. So oh, this is going to be a fun painting. Oh, okay, we'll put them all back. Okay, we we have our drills all. I'm, gl I'm glad I don't work at the factory packaging drills because I'm not that good at it. But I tried to keep them in order so that when I go to kit it up, it will be ready to go. So guys, that is the March Hare, like I said, companion piece to, I always forget the name of this other one, the Dormouse. The Dormouse, yes. So they're both Anthony Christos. They're both 50 by 65s. So if you're interested, down in the description, I am an affiliate with Treasure Studios Arts. There is a link down in the description that will take you to the website of Treasure Studios Arts. If you see anything you like and it makes its way into your cart, please use the code REBECCA15 to get 15% off your purchase of, of $40 or more, which I venture to say these paintings are more than $40. So have a great day, guys. Diamond painting. Year of Alice. Love you all. Bye.